Morning. I call this business meeting to order. Before we begin the markup, I want to take a moment to congratulate and thank senators in our committee who've worked to pass two important pieces of legislation through the Senate this past week. Uh, on Thursday, the Senate passed uh, the Save Our Seas 2.0 Act. And uh, Senators Sullivan and Senator Whitehouse partnered together to shepherd this bill through the Senate. Both of them were on the floor of the Senate uh, last evening uh, talking about all of the benefits of this legislation that has passed our committee unanimously as well as the Senate unanimously. The legislation will help reduce the amount of plastic floating uh, and waste floating in our oceans and will spur innovative solutions to prevent more plastic pollution. Also on Thursday, the Senate passed America's Conservation Enhancement Act, or the ACE Act, Ranking Member Carper and I introduced the ACE Act. Senators Kramer and Cardin and Capito and Van Hollen and Inhofe and Bozeman uh, all joined as co-sponsors. Uh, the ACE Act helps conserve wildlife and wildlife habitat. The legislation addresses the threats of emerging wildlife diseases like chronic wasting disease. It protects livestock from predators and it combats invasive species. The ACE Act has received broad support from states, from environmental groups and from stakeholders. Now the Senate has passed the legislation unanimously. The House of Representatives should follow our lead, pass this historic bipartisan conservation legislation into law. In today's markup, we will consider one bill, H.R. 5430, the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement Implementation Act. Senator Carper and I have agreed that we will begin voting at 1015. At that time, I'll call up the legislation for a vote. We won't debate the bill while we are voting. Instead, we'll uh, debate the legislation before we begin the vote, and I'll also be happy to recognize any member who still wishes to speak after the voting concludes. President Trump promised a strong, fair, and updated trade agreement with our neighbors, with Canada and with Mexico. President Trump has delivered on his promise. The United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, also known as USMCA, was signed by the leadership of all three countries more than a year ago. Mexico gave its final approval of the agreement last June. Canada is waiting for us here in Congress to approve the agreement before taking it up. It's critical that Congress approves this trade deal to continue to fuel America's strong, healthy, and growing economy. H.R. 5430 will implement the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement. At the end of the last year, the House of Representatives overwhelmingly voted to approve the legislation. The bipartisan vote tally was 385 to 41. This is a good reason for broad support. USMCA builds on the certainty and progress achieved through recent trade agreements with Japan and with China. It's going to expand market access for a host of U.S. products, and it will sharpen U.S. exporters' competitive edge. Trade is certainly very important to my home state of Wyoming. We trade our agriculture and our energy products, including our number one cash crop, which is beef, and we do this all around the world. Above all, USMCA will benefit American workers. The agreement will protect and create millions of jobs here in the United States. American manufacturers overwhelmingly support USMCA. It isn't perfect, but it is still a win for American workers and families. It's also a win for the environment. The United States already has strong environmental protections. The phrase, made in America, is good for the environment. The agreement does not change those protections or give Washington new authorities to regulate. Instead, the agreement recognizes that our partners should be, have strong environmental records like we do. Our committee is one of several Senate committees that have jurisdiction over the legislation. Under the fast track rules, the committee cannot amend the bill. We'll vote today only on whether to favorably report the bill. And I urge my colleagues to support passage of the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement so we can continue to support our strong, healthy, and growing economy. I'll now turn to our ranking member for his opening statement. Thanks, 